Good evening and welcome to Spring Sing 2014. As you can see, we have a full program this evening, packed full of incredible music and very talented musicians, ranging in age from grades second through eighth grade. We have all worked very hard on the music you will be listening to this evening, so we ask that you, as an audience, be respectful of us by turning off your cell phones or to silent now. As well, please refrain from getting up out of your seat or taking flash photography during any song being performed. This is very distracting to us as performers and we want to give you our best. We are recording tonight. Please hold all applause for soloists until the entire song has been performed. Do not yell or clap during the song performance. I repeat, do not yell or clap during the song performance. This is very important for the quality of the recording we are making this evening. We have many teachers and administrators who have volunteered their time this evening to make sure as students behave well in the audience. If you see anything that you do not deem as appropriate concert behavior from any performer, please bring it to a chaperone's attention immediately. In turn, because we are making an audio recording of tonight's performance, we kindly ask that all small children are attended to immediately so that we can achieve the best recordings possible for each ensemble. We are very glad you are here with us tonight. Enjoy the show. Thank you for being here this evening. This uh, choir does not meet together. This is the first time they have sung together since October of 2013, which I think is quite a feat as they're putting together this kind of music for concerts and competition. The next song that we are going to sing is This Shall Be For Music. It is a Robert Louis, Robert Louis Stevenson poem um, that is very near and dear to my heart. and. Uh, flows along with a lot of the things that we've been doing with artistic phrasing and follows along with a lot of the things that we're doing in the language arts standards at the middle school. Everything in the program with a star next to it on the next to it are contest pieces that we will be performing at Kings Island. This is this shall be for music.
some I'd like to acknowledge with each choir that performs. I always give out some awards to those students who I feel that are deserving and some students who are extraordinarily outstanding and some students just need to know that I see them. There are a lot of girls up here and lots of times people get lost in the mix and that's what these are for. The most improved eighth grade girl could you please welcome Maria Centrulo to the stage? I kind of had a tie for the most improved seventh grade girl. The seventh grade girls were doing a lot of slow student learning objectives for me. And I had two girls who blew me away with the amount of growth they've made in the year. The two most improved seventh grade girls, Zaire Deck and Fatima Hodge. There are three more ladies I'd like to acknowledge. I call these my rising star awards. These girls have fearlessly auditioned for solos fearlessly been leaders, and their future is so bright that it's amazing. For the eighth grade, Miss Haley Vitaliano. <laughs> and for the seventh grade, Sade Cole and Tia Bird. certificates and flowers for all of them, but we'll just get back to the music. We're going to end with our contest beast, Harps and Wheels, soloist, Miss Alina Sears.
excited to get up here. That's awesome. We have um, one more song. Uh, my name is Lisby Hanna, for those of you who don't know me. Thank you. Um, I'm one of the high school directors, but I have the pleasure of, after spending most of my day at the high school, I go to the middle school for one day. And this year, I've been able to work with the eighth grade girls. And recently, um, we divided them into two groups so we could kind of target focus some needs that they had and things like that. And um, my ladies were working so quickly, we had a lot of time to do music. So I thought, well, we've got a song, so let's put it on the concert. So this is a small section of the eighth grade girls performing I'm Going Up a Yonder.
Hello, uh, my name is Jennifer Whiteman and I'm the music teacher at Winton Woods Primary North. The choir you see in front of you is all made up of second graders. Now these second graders rehearse once a week before school and this year they have done some exciting things. They've gone Christmas caroling and we just had another concert earlier this week performing at the middle school for our fine arts night. So they're very excited to be on this big stage and we we'll hope you enjoy the rest of our program.
there's a tall person at this microphone. Um, this is 24. This is the select after school choir that meets once weekly, maybe twice, maybe once every other week, just depending on how the schedule goes. And parents, right now, I thank you for your flexibility. It's just been one of those years. We are going to be performing that piece, The Lonely Sea, and this next piece, The Java Jive, which is a real treat for me because I've never had a group good enough to do jazz with. So this is our version of The Java Jive. Soloists, Nicholas Kress, Kenny Greer, Let me try that again. Soloists are Nicholas Kress, Kenny Greer, and Hunter Musgrave. <laughs> Let's try that again. Soloists are Kenny Greer, Hunter Musgrave, and Nicholas Kress. While they're getting set up, we don't spend a lot of time on risers. I just want to let you know, this is a real delight for me. Um, I'm Miss Rodriguez. I'm the music director now at the Inter Winton Woods Intermediate School. Um, I had spent many years at the elementary school. And uh, these students that you see before you are the Winton Woods Intermediate School Chorus. We rehearse on Mondays after school. And we're looking forward, our sixth graders are looking forward to joining these wonderful middle school groups that we're hearing. And uh, I've had a wonderful evening seeing so many of the students that I've had in the past 
go on into the middle school, and I know that I've seen them in high school choruses too. So I expect the same from these guys. We hope you enjoy our three numbers tonight. Good evening. Our first piece tonight is Franz Schubert's D4LA, or The Trap. Schubert wrote this art song in 1819. He liked it so much that he used the melody again in a quintet he wrote later. Fans of the television show, The Amazing Race, may recognize this piece from last season. In Vienna, Austria, teams were challenged to sing the song in German with the <coughs> Vienna Boy Choir. We are certain that our performance would pass the challenge. We hope you enjoy Schubert's the trout.
Good evening. Our next piece is the Jamaican folk song, Wants to Come to Me I. This song has a definite calypso feel to it. It reflects the language with a soft sound to the words. No hard R's as in Wata and Go. It also captures the culture and especially the rhythms of the West Indies. We hope you enjoy Wata Come to Me I. Yeah, man. final piece tonight is Put a Little Love in Your Heart. It is a pop song that was released in 1968. It was written by Jackie B. Shannon with her brother Randy Myers and Jimmy Holiday. It hit number two on the adult contemporary chart in 1969 and hit number one on South Africa's hit parade. It has been recorded by many different artists throughout the years, including Andy Williams, Ella Fitzgerald, Dolly Parton, Mary Mary, Billy Ray Rock Cyrus, Annie Lexon and Al Green, and even Leonard Nimoy. We, hope, we have enjoyed performing for you, and we hope that our songs have put a little love in your hearts. Thank you.
like to recognize a few of the gentlemen up here. For a most improved seventh grade boy and most improved eighth grade boy, I kind of have a hard time saying boy because they are young men and they have grown so much from the beginning of the school year. If I call your name, please come down. For most improved seventh grade young man, Jerry Velasquez. <laughs> Who apparently couldn't make it tonight. Most improved eighth grade young man or young men. Estuardo Ramirez and Hunter Luxton. And Hunter Musgrave.
Graders, we have come up with something that I thought of this morning, actually. We have a, a big poster of signatures of almost every eighth grader that Ms. Frank has touched. <laughs> Most outstanding seventh grade choir member to please come down and get your certificate, Miss Kate Ingram. <laughs> the most outstanding eighth grade treble choir member, Miss Taryn Phillips Smith. Before I give out the award for most outstanding eighth grade men's choir award, I need to give out an award that I've never given before because, well, I'm going to name the award the Kenny. Kenny Greer, can you come down here? <laughs> Things, um, I do have a plaque for you in the very bag he gave me a gift in last week. But I have never had a student like this before. And he tells me he's going to go into music education and he tells me he's going to come back to student teach with me. And in a lot of ways I feel like he already did. <laughs> he is not only the person that thinks of things before I do, says, maybe we need to move this person, or Miss Frank, you need to listen to this voice, it's changing up here, or you need to do this, to the fact that you missed this person when we were doing attendance this morning. And uh, he's always the first person in my room to say hello. He's always the last person that I see at the end of every day. And uh, Mrs. Hannah, you will never lose your keys for the next four years, I promise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Greer, the Kenny.
the most outstanding eighth grade men's choir member, Mr. Nicholas Kress. general fine arts. We are alive and well here at Winton Woods Middle School, Winton Woods Primary School, and Winton Woods Intermediate School. These students are confronted not every day with the fact that they have to go forward with their academics, but they also have to go forward from their homes with things that happen at home and they try to get to school and then they have to think about so many things and do I have the right color pants on and man, I forgot my pencil for my first bell class, and oh my goodness, I've got a soccer game after school, and oh, I've got choir practice. Miss Frank, I'm not gonna be able to make 24. All these things that they do. But what you often forget is, is the social issue that these kids all deal with. It's not easy standing up for what's right all of the time. Every person on this stage does what's right, and that's what this song is about. I'd like to thank Ms. Rodriguez, I would like to thank Mrs. Whiteman, and I'd like to thank Mrs. Hanna for their help in preparing this. Soloists for this song are Trevor Hatfield from Primary North, my, Mia Huckleberry from Whitten Woods Intermediate School, Eliana Washam, Rachel Hughes, Dorian Miller, and Taryn Phillips-Smith from Whitten Woods Middle School. This is The Power of One.